We want you to have a successful start in your first online course at Gwinnett Tech. It may be intimidating to start a new learning experience, but we know you can do it. We've gathered 10 tips for students as they start any online course. These tips have come from students, staff, and online course instructors. Tip one, create your learning setup. Locate a space for yourself where you can devote time to your class and homework. It doesn't have to be a permanent space, but it should meet your needs regarding seating, lighting, and noise. Your learning setup should include your textbook supplies and computer, as well as headphones or any other items you need to be successful. Number two, log in to your Gwinnett Tech accounts. Make sure that you can log into all accounts related to your online course. This may include Blackboard, the Respondus Lockdown Browser, and or your online textbook. Attempt to log in to these before the start of your course so you can get any technical assistance before the course begins. Email the Student IT Help Desk at stuhelpdesk at gwinnetttech.edu for password issues. Number three, learn the programs. Review the materials related to Blackboard, our online learning management system. There are videos and FAQs that have answers to common questions. Take time to explore each class's resources. If you get stuck, search the internet to troubleshoot issues you may come across. Familiarize yourself with the features of Microsoft 365 using resources on our student resources website. Number four, read the course syllabus. It's a roadmap for your course. You can find the reading, assignments, and due dates listed. Review the academic policies, course competencies, and instructor policies. The instructor policy section is where you will find information related to late work and how you will be graded and the instructor's classroom expectations. Instructors provide recommended resources and information. Consider reading your syllabus the first assignment you should give yourself in any course. Number five, create your weekly schedule. Plan out the days and times you will access the course material, complete your homework, and study for tests and quizzes. Focus on creating a regular, predictable schedule. Think of what it would be like if you had to come to campus for class. Think about commuting to your learning space each day by turning off your phone, gathering your supplies, setting up, and sitting down for your class. Number six, participate. When you are physically in a classroom, participating means speaking up and answering questions. Participating in an online course is similar. You just do that via email and discussion boards. Ask questions of your instructor and fellow students and engage online often. Review the course each day to see if there are any updates. Make sure to get the contact information for your classmates so you can talk online or in person about your coursework. Number seven, ask for help. Our Blackboard support staff and IT student help desk will assist you with any technical issues. If you are having trouble with a concept or idea in class, make sure to talk with your instructor. Our staff and faculty can't help if they don't know you're experiencing issues. Number eight, plan ahead. Make sure to plan for issues or potential hiccups in your course. Have a backup plan to access the internet by going to a local restaurant or coming to campus in case your internet goes out. Attempt to work ahead to anticipate issues. Review your personal work and academic calendars to determine any times of the semester that may be stressful due to competing priorities and make a plan to be successful during those times. Number nine, Communicate with your instructor. Introduce yourself to your instructor via email. Share when you're having trouble with a course concept or idea. Ask for help. Your instructor wants to help you be successful. If you are struggling with coursework or life outside of class, please share that information so your instructor can know what you are dealing with in addition to your classwork. Number 10, make sure to check your student email. Your student email is the official mode of communication between your instructors and you. Any important information related to due date, study sessions, or changes will be sent to your Gwinnett Tech student email account. Hopefully these 10 tips can assist you in prepping for and being successful in your online courses at Gwinnett Tech. Visit the Blackboard login page for the frequently asked questions and assistance for the Blackboard online learning management system and information on the Respondus Lockdown browser. If you need additional assistance and don't know where to go, you can always email studentsuccess at gwinnetttech.edu and one of our retention specialists will assist you.